Hey, oh, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. Today we have two amazingly detailed creations to go over here today, so stay tuned and let's check them out. Welcome back everybody. If you guys are new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you end up enjoying the video, leave a like. Come join us on Discord. We are now open to the public and it is a Planet Coaster slash Planet Zoo Discord. As well as if you guys want to support the show, please do check out my Patreon page as you can get spotlight priority and be the first creations to be featured at the beginning of the month every month. And speaking of which, it is October 2nd and we have a bunch of Patreon creations. So today's creations are in fact two patreon creations so with that out of the way let's jump in to the first creation of the day hemlock the wood festival coaster created by one of our discord master builders and golden patrons d dex thank you so much for your support and here he says the town of hemlock is a wood industry town in celebrating the festival of wood does that make any sense <laughs> it was kind of the idea behind the coaster boom he gave me a boom <laughs> Thanks for your channel, man. Great to have you back. Boom, it's great to have you back as well, D-Dex. I love looking at your creations, so let's get right on into it, shall we? Here we have Hemlock, a wooden coaster, wooden gnarler. Here's a look at all the stats, green across the board. 1,100 meters in track length packed into this guy. Some good speeds, some good drops, some good airtime counts. Exceptional stuff. This should be a doozy of a wooden coaster, and I love me a good woody. Oh, so good. Let's ride it again at night since we only have two creations in today's episode. I want to give it another go. Man, oh man, 1,100 meters of track length. 
you can really feel it there. I mean, absolutely phenomenal stuff. The track layout was impeccable, very smooth coaster overall, and it is really difficult to theme a good wooden coaster, and I think you absolutely nailed it. It looks very festive, and that was your whole goal here. I love these supports being held up by the tree there. Very interesting. I mean, tons of wooden elements here. Let's pause it. I cannot hear myself think. I like the you put them everywhere. What are they? The wagon covers? <laughs> I thought that was very cool too. Also gives it a festive vibe. Lots of gears and decorations. I mean, every ounce that we pass by, ounce? Inch? Every inch. <laughs> every ounce and inch that we pass by was just jam-packed full of detail. I mean, look at that. That is incredible. We have a, it's very nature vibe. And speaking of which, with the submission form, we have the Alpine submission, but we don't have nature. And I feel like something like this would end up getting put in Alpine, but it does feel more nature. So I'm gonna have to update the submission form so we can include nature into the, uh, as it was one of the themes for the spotlights. But this is absolutely amazing work on this one here today, DDAX. Really love this wooden coaster design. Uh, it's it's stunning. It's, it works great in a park. Uh, tucked, it, tucked away in the forest, the back end of the park very nature like and it uh, has a nice welcoming festive entrance to uh kind of work as a landmark and draw guests in stunning work all right ladies and gentlemen let's go check out the next creation of the day retrograde created by one of our discord master builders and golden patrons sublines and here he says the end is nigh retrograde takes you through a once great port city destroyed by a tsunami the last remaining people scavenge whatever they could to stay alive while the mayor just des desperately tries to keep the city running launch backwards and forward in speeds of excess up to 100 kilometers per hour and see all the sights of the decrepit pit of despair has to offer at least the flowers are nice <laughs> Hope you enjoy. All right, this one also looks absolutely stunning. So let's take a closer look, shall we? We have a Impulsion Viper One Boomerang Coaster. Here's a look at all the stats, everybody. Track length is 1,500 meters, actually longer than the last one, but that's because it's going forward and backwards. So technically it's like, what, 750, something like that. Max speeds of 64 miles an hour. Uh, nine inversions, but I think it counts them forwards and backwards, but that doesn't make sense because it's an odd number. Airtime count four and 2.8 seconds of airtime. Quite a thrilling boomerang. So let's uh, close this down and give it a go. Holy freaking Toledos. This has got to be one of the most mesmerizing track layouts I've ever seen on a boomerang. Holy good googly moogly. Let's give this one at nighttime and try. We'll do one for old time six. The go to old cinematic. Let's see if we can get this to work because I want to see some of these buildings.
phenomenal stuff. It's been a while since we looked at cinematic, and I'm actually really glad we did because as it's coming up this backside of this tower, it's smashing all the windows. That's freaking awesome. So we did a post-apocalyptic kind of theme, and I think that's what uh, got Sublines to do this submission. However, he put it through to the uh, Patreon form rather than the regular form. Uh, I, I guess to clarify more, we, we did a mini contest, and I was getting everyone to do post-apocalyptic creations. But that, that mini contest ended up getting spaced out because of the Candyland finale, so they actually haven't quite finished the rest of them, which you guys are going to see, I want to say, next week or something. Uh, some more... Let me check the schedule. Yeah, there's, so there's another post-apocalyptic episode next Monday from the looks of things. You still ended up getting yours featured within the time frame, being a patron, but the patrons are the first of the month every month, as opposed to uh, the contest was something that I was doing right away. So we still got you in there on time, and uh, I got to say that this theming is some of the best post-apocalyptic theming I've ever seen, especially at nighttime. The flickering lights, the bending bridge held up by the cables, the coaster going over it. We have the trains crashing over the edges on the bridges here, and same with over on this side. I mean, it's just jam-packed everywhere. Everything fits. It comes together as a complete composition. There's rubble all over the ground. I mean, what more can you say other than it's flawless? It really is flawless. I can't really say anything I would change, and the coaster was mesmerizing. It was so smooth. I really love the, the, the coaster design on this and especially the way you had the boomerang wrap up the back of the building, smash all the windows and same with this piece here. It looks just like bent rebar sticking out of a building. I mean, wow. Just the, just wow. The coaster matches the theme. And I love it when people can actually make a coaster design uh, like the track has is themed in with the theming so impeccable stuff there today sublines as all as well as d decks two distinctly different creations but both extremely well done some definite polished quality from our two patrons here today and master builders so really good job and thank you to both of you for supporting the show through patreon i really do appreciate it phenomenal creations you guys what did you guys think leave your comments down in the comments down below and that's going to do it for me here today if you guys enjoyed please be sure to smash that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos and if you'd like to support the show get priority spotlight please do check out my patreon page links are down in the description below and also come join us on discord we are open to the public and things are popping off with planet zoo so having a ton of fun with that game still but it is refreshing to get back into planet coaster because i don't have these freaking stressful alerts saying my animals are dying my animals are starving freaking someone needs to be fed something's going on over here freaking heck i'm getting an aneurysm playing that game it is so stressful but hopefully i'll get the hang of it eventually <laughs> All right, everyone, that's going to do it for me here today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.